So this is the second part of the shooting with bullets tutorial series. Last time we made the gun script and today I'm showing you how to set up the projectile physics and make them explode. But before we do that, someone wanted to have recoil when shooting, so let's quickly implement that. Open up your projectile gun script, make a reference to your player's rigid body and also float for your recoil force. Now inside of your shoot function you just say player rigid body dot add force and now you always want the opposite of your shooting direction. You get this by taking the negative direction with spread dot normalized multiplied with your recoil force and make sure to use force mode dot impulse. There's just one problem. If you have a shotgun that shoots 8 bullets per tap, you would add the recoil force 8 times in a row, which is way too often. So if you move it down inside of this if statement, it will only add the force once. If you now set the recoil force to something like 25, you should be able to jump pretty far. But of course you can also use less recoil. Now make a new script, call it projectile gun or something like that, and let's start by making the variables. You'll definitely need references to your rigid body, your explosion game object and your what is enemy's layer mask. Also float for the bounciness of your bullet. And the bounciness can only be between 0 and 1. So let's make an attribute for a range from 0 to 1. This will also give you a cool slider in the inspector. Next a bool to check if you want to use the gravity. An integer for the explosion damage and a float for the explosion range. Now there are three ways your bullet can explode. Either you reach the max collisions, or the lifetime runs out, or you directly touch with an enemy. Also make a private integer for your collisions and a physic material. Now make a void setup and in there create a new physic material. And set the bounciness of it. And to make sure that your bullet bounces well on every surface, you need to set the friction combined to minimum and bounce combined to maximum. Finally, you can get your own sphere collided component and assign the physic material that you just created. Also set your rigid body's gravity to your use gravity bool. Then make sure to call your setup function in void start and also make an explode function. But before we do the explosion, let's define when the bullet should explode. For this, open void update and check if your collisions are more than your max collisions. If yes, your bullet should explode. Also, you want to count down your lifetime and as soon as it's less than zero, the bullet should explode too. But obviously the collisions are not getting counted right now, so open up the onCollisionEnter function. This function gets automatically called whenever you collide with any other object. In there just count up your collisions. And by the way, forget about this line, you don't need it. I'll show you a way better solution afterwards. But you should check if you are directly colliding with an object tagged as enemy and if the explode on touch bool is true. If yes, your bullet should explode. And of course, make sure to tag all your enemies as enemy. Now we can go back to the explode function. Here you want to check if you've assigned an explosion. And if so, instantiate it at your transform.position with no rotation. Then make a collider array. Call it enemies and with physics.overlapsphere, you can check for enemies in your attack range. Just use your transform.position as center, explosion range as range and what is enemies as layer mask. With a simple for loop you can now get the script component of every enemy in your array and damage them. Notice that this line is only an example of course. Instead of shooting AI you want to take whatever the script of your enemy is called. And also your enemy should have a basic take damage function. It looks something like this. Now you want to destroy your bullet but with a tiny delay, otherwise you might get bugs. For this just make a delay function, destroy your game object in there and invoke it with about 0.05 seconds. And if you want you can add this so you can see how big your explosion range is in Unity. 
because that's where you want to go now. So let's set up the projectiles. Make a new sphere or you can also use a 3D bullet model if you have one. Then drag a material on it, scale it down and add a rigid body. Make sure to set it to into bullet and continues, otherwise your bullets will fly through walls as if they don't exist. Now add the script, assign your rigid body, create a new what is enemy's layer mask and select it in the inspector. Set your damage, range, max collisions and lifetime. Also I have this explosion here from the asset store, so I'm going to drag it into the explosion slot. Next you can make a new trail renderer if you want. Set the curve to something like this, the time to 1, use whatever color or gradient you want, but make sure you are using the default particle system as the material. Now you should see this cool trail if you move your bullet, or actually it's more like a grenade. Now I'm just going to copy the whole object, make it smaller and add a different material. This is going to be a normal bullet. So make the explosion range a bit smaller and use 1 for max collisions, because a normal bullet doesn't bounce off any walls. And yeah, don't use any gravity. Then if you want you can also change the color and width of your trail renderer. Now make a bullet tag and a what is bullet layer mask and assign them to both of your projectiles. And finally you can make prefabs out of them. And now you can assign the bullet prefab to your gun. If you followed along with the first tutorial, the rest should already be set up. Except for the play rigid body, so quickly drag it in there. Now before you hit play, go to edit, project settings, physics and scroll down a bit. Here you can deactivate collisions between objects in specific layer masks. And by the way, you also need to create a what is player layer mask and obviously put your player in there. Now search where what is bullet and what is player are crossing and uncheck the box. Also uncheck where what is bullet is crossing with itself. Just like that bullets won't collide with other bullets nor with the player. Now your gun should be working just fine, but there's still one more thing we can do. I got asked how to make the explosion affect or the rigid body and that's kind of a cool thing, so let's do it. For this add a new float called explosion force, go inside of your damage loop and check if the enemies have a rigid body. If so you want to take the rigid body and use the add explosion force function. In there just use your explosion force as force, transform the position as position and explosion range as range. And that's basically it. Just make sure that the objects you want to push away are tagged as enemy and also in the what is enemy layer mask. Then set the explosion force of your projectile to something like 1200 and test it out. And that's it for the second part. Definitely try out a lot of different variables in your gun and projectile script because with only these two scripts you can create so many different guns. The download link for the code is of course in the description and remember that you can also download the whole project file on my discord server. In there I've already made a ton of different projectiles and also a few guns for you to try out. But now thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you want me to continue this series, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions just write a comment.